Welcome back. It's time for more, bro more broken sword with Reef. Well, I think I'm done with that man for now. I'm gonna go to the front of the hospital. I think I saw someone over here to talk with. Excuse me, sir. Aha! Just the man. You must be the new boy. Sure am. Uh, yeah, I must be. Well, uh, stop wandering about and make yourself useful. Bunny, come here, boy. Benny, bunny. This is Benoit, my nephew. Oh. Can I trust you to look after him? Yeah, sure. He's fresh out of medical school. Oh, I'll tell him. It will open his eyes to see a real doctor on the job. I'll bet. Show him around. Let him see some real suffering. Will do. I'll give him a Hi, talk then. My name's George Stobart. Yes, sir. So, what's your name, kid? Benoit. They call me Bunny. Bunny? Jeez, and you don't mind? Oh, I've gotten used to it. Okay, Benoit, you're gonna help me. Anything you say, sir. I'll talk about the nurse. Do you know the him? nurse on Ward J2? No, monsieur. This is my first day here. I can't wait to get my hands dirty. I was talking about treating my first patient, of course. I didn't mean I'd get my hands dirty with a nurse. Shut hmm? up, Benoit. Okay, sir. <laughs> Let's talk about the patient. Do you know anything about a patient named Marquet? Uh, no, sir, I don't know much about any of the patients. I've never met a doctor who admits that he's only human. Uh, I'm only a trainee, sir. I'm sure I'll get the hang of things. He has a really, really interesting accent. Follow me, okay. Benoit. I'm Come. right behind you, sir. Come on, Benoit. We are going this way. We're going to take this man's... Blood pressure. Hi, it's me again. I'll no. come back later. So what I'll do is I'll give the blood pressure pump to Benoit, maybe. Hey, Benoit! Yes, sir? Make him Here, do the work. take this pressure gauge. Thank you, sir. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? Well, uh, keep it safe until I think of something. Okay. Follow so me, Benoit. I'm right behind you, sir. So now, I should be able to just walk on by... You haven't finished taking my blood pressure. Stop it, wow. No. Will you keep quiet? You're disturbing the other patients. I'll keep quiet when you've taken my blood pressure properly. I have to see Jacques Marquet first. How come he gets preferential treatment? Because he pays it's more. It's because he's got money, yep. isn't it? Most I'll it is. I'll come back when you've dealt with that chip on your shoulder. But let's just talk to him then. Hey, Benoit! Yes, sir? Do you still have that gauge I gave you? Ah, yes. What do you want me to do with it? Um, help him out. Use it on Eric Sotmarsh. Okay. Okay, now I'm going past. Oh, look, more people. Hello, Mr. Security Guard. I'm Dr. Stobart. Bonjour, Doctor. I want to go in. Have you heard of a guy called Marquet? He's in quarantine, Doc. Right behind this ear door. Marquet is just the man I wanted to see. I wouldn't go in there if I was you. He has anthrax. Hmm. Anthrax, I have to visit all things. My patient. What for? Routine. I have to check he's still breathing. What if he's not? I'll sign the certificate and register his bed is vacant. That's a cold and distant attitude to death. Well, I've been institutionalized to the point of godlike aloofness. The white coat suits you. Thanks. Thank you. Have you seen any suspicious characters on the ward? Yeah, I have. A gorilla and a weasel? No. This was a tatty old bear. How is the bear acting suspiciously? Well, he was wearing a homburg. Is that Umburg? against the law? No, but it's pretty weird for a bear. 
That is pretty suspicious. Catch you later, officer. Au revoir, Doc. I'm going in. I made it. Look, he's, he's, he's all damaged and stuff. Poor old man. Marquet? Yes. I am Marquet. I've been expecting you. You have? Well, what are you waiting for? Get it over with. I just want to know what I should do with the gem. The Lachmar gem? Yeah, yes. Right here in my pocket. Oh, I thought you were one of the assassin. Assassin. <laughs> oh, that's an awesome way to say assassin. Not me. I never inhaled. So, you were sent in my place? Uh, yeah. You could hardly make the trip to Ireland in your condition. What should I do with the gem? Deliver it to the Grandmaster quickly. Tell him that I have found the tripod <laughs> right here in Paris. What, you have it? Not yet, but it's being taken care of. I hired a couple of stooges with a flair for petty crime. Would that be Flap and Guido by any chance? You know them? Yes, I do. For Klausner, uh, he has gone off to Syria on a wild goose chase. They have geese in Syria? He, he uh, has a theory about the location of the... That's enough excitement for one day, Monsieur Marquet. What are you doing here? Talking to this patient, of course. Monsieur Marquet is my patient. If Herr Hagenmeier was to hear that... Okay, I'm going. I'd learned all I could from Marquet anyhow. Awesome. Ah, there you are, sir. I was just coming to look for you. Ciao, Benny. I finished with your pressure gauge. Thanks, Thank Bunny. You. What's that noise? It sounds as if someone's having a cardiac arrest. It's all right. The doctor's in there with him. Are you sure he was a doctor? Oui, monsieur. He showed me his ID. It was Dr. Braille. There's no Dr. Braille working here. He's what? an imposter. Go in. The door's locked. Help me, officer. Stand back, monsieur. Come on, do the security job thing. Oh, he has a gun. Wow. Oh, shit. He killed the old man. Motherfucker. Another soul lost. Hello, George. Hello, Nico. We lost Marquet. I found Jacques Marquet. Did he talk? Yeah, he talked. For the very last time. He's dead. Yeah, killed in cold blood by a bogus doctor. That's despicable. What kind of guy would pass himself off as a doctor and take advantage of a dying man? George. Was it Khan? No, I don't know who he was, but it certainly wasn't Khan. He got away, out the window. Got away, out the window. Have you ever heard of the Hashi Ashin? No. Marquet said that they were his biggest enemy. His biggest enemy was the bogus doctor. Don't remind me. That guy was evil. He had wild, staring eyes like a dead fish. I'll never trust a doctor again. <laughs> Talk about Do you think someone? the assassin was responsible for killing Marquet? I don't think so. He could have finished him off the first time. Besides, Marquet would have recognized him. He was pumped to the gills with sedatives. He wouldn't have recognized the four horsemen of the apocalypse unless they'd introduced themselves. Hmm, interesting. Um, nothing on the manuscript. I guess I'd better go back and talk to that weirdo. Which one, Rosso or Sergeant Mou? Oh, but you're referring to Andre. I'll let you work it out. Yes, I think I'm gonna go back to Andre. Um, yeah. Museum. Oh, someone's over there. I beg your pardon, are you André Lobino? Oh my god, it is. That's me? You want my autograph? No. no, 
I was told you may be able to help me. Help? My name is George Stobart. I'd like your professional opinion. Well, okay, shoot. Bang. I want your professional opinion on this. I'd like your opinion on a medieval manuscript. Vraiment? Do you have it with you? No, it's too fragile. And besides, there are certain people who'd stop at nothing to get their hands on it. Intriguing. Uh, do you have a copy of the text? There isn't much. Only a few Latin phrases. I was kind of hoping you'd help decipher the pictures. Without seeing the manuscript, uh, that's a tall order. Just tell me one thing. What does the image of two men riding on the same horse suggest to you? The Knights Templar. Does the Templar seal appear on this manuscript? I'd love to see that for myself. Do I have to come back to Nicole's place then? Oh. I think you ought to know that the tripod is going to be stolen. The uh, Lochman tripod? No. It's true. I can give you a description of the thieves. Before the supposed event has taken place? I heard them planning the raid. They're wasting their time. The tripod is protected by a state-of-the-art alarm system. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Hmm. And Why don't you loan the tripod to me for safekeeping? I doubt because I'd never that. see it again. But don't you trust me? It's not a question of trust, George. That tripod is hundreds of years old and extremely fragile. I get your point. But let's talk about this. Does the name Montfaucon mean anything to you? Sure. It was the most grisly spectacle in Paris until the Revolution. A public toilet? Montfaucon was the place of execution for many thousands. Oh. A dark temple of death with row upon row of arches, each one framing a grim exhibit. Scores of rotting corpses swung on creaking rope while the crows devoured their flesh. That explains the image of the hanged man. I found a reference to Montfaucon in Ireland, in a village called Lochmarn. Lochmarn? That's where Pigram was digging. That's right. He'd left the excavation before I arrived. He sure did. Do you know Pigram well? Not really. I met him at a conference. I oh. would have liked to talk to him in depth, but I didn't have time. Oh. When was this? Oh, uh, back in the summer. Uh, July, I think. July is winter here, though. And the crazy killer? Have you ever heard of the Hashashin? Why, well, yes. It was a radical Muslim sect whose name became synonymous with murder. It was formed in 11th century Persia, shortly before the Crusades. At roughly the same time as the Templars? Yes. They gave a new word to our language. Assassini. The Assassins. Ooh, so that's where it's from. Let's talk about Nicole. The manuscript is being looked after by a friend. In Paris? Yeah. Not far from here, in fact. Well, uh, just give me the address and I'll uh, come round and take a look. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe I should check with her first. A female friend? Yeah, she's a woman. This friend who has the manuscript? Ah, uh, oui, uh, the anonymous girlfriend. She lives at 361 Rue what? Jarry. Ah, I know it well. I'll drop by, just as soon as I can. He just gave away the call's address to his random stranger. Let's show him the gem. What do you make of this? It's the biggest gemstone I've ever seen. Where did you get it? From Professor Pegram's messenger boy. Did uh, Pegram find this on his dig? Yeah, the site where this was found was a Templar castle. Do you think it could be part of the Templar treasure? No, oh, I shouldn't think so. You're not one of those crazies who think the Templars still exist, are you? Uh, well, I try to keep an open mind on the matter. Yeah, pretty much. Can you tell me anything about the Knights Templar? I sure can, Georgie. Soldiers, diplomats, mercenaries, monks, bankers, you name it, the Templars fit the bill. The greatest fighting force in Christendom, the Militia Christendom. of Christ. Jeez. Hmm. So, let's ask about the Hashashis. How did the assassins get their name? From the legend surrounding the secrets of their initiation rites. What? A young man who sought to join the sect was given hashish until he drifted into dreams. He awoke to find himself in a fabulous garden with everything he could wish for. 
the freshest water, the most delicious food, the choicest hash, and the most delectable women imaginable. Cool. Do you have the address? I haven't finished the story. There was a price to pay for this taste of paradise. Wouldn't you just know it? The young man would wake the next day to find himself back in the real world. He was told that he'd been given a glimpse of the heaven reserved for holy martyrs. A heaven he would enjoy for eternity if he was willing to join the Hashashin. Oh, so that's how they get you. Where was the site of Montfaucon? To the northeast, near the Canal Saint-Martin. But there's nothing there now. The old gibbet was torn down during the revolution. Oh, the revolution destroyed everything, didn't it? How did the Templars get their name? From the building in which they set up their headquarters. The king of Jerusalem gave them part of a mosque on the Temple Mount. It was said to have been the site of the original Temple of Solomon. The order became known first as the Knights of the Temple and later as the Knights Templar. You're a mine of information, André. Glad to be of help, Georgie. Georgie. Let's ask more about the Templars, Georgie. How come the Templars became so wealthy? There was a constant stream of new recruits to their ranks, many from noble families. They were required to swear a sacred oath of poverty, chastity, and obedience. So, their money, goods, and lands were donated to the order. The Templars soon held land in France, Scotland, England, Spain, most of Europe, in fact. The poor Knights of Christ became the wealthiest power in Christendom. That's quite sneaky, Is actually. it true the treasure of the Knights Templar was never found? Ah, who knows? So little knowledge of what really happened remains. Oh, if it does, the truth has never been made public. What do you mean by that? The Templars have attained a mythological status, like the King Arthur of the Britons. There are people even now who say the Templars still exist. They must be crazy. Do you think that's likely? No, not for a minute. Okay, so let's just finish off the conversation with you. I think this has been dragging on for a while. How did the assassins operate? Well, as I explained, the new recruits would be only too willing to die for the cause. They'd be instructed in the use of the dagger, poisons, and disguise. Then, the Grand Master of the sect would name an enemy of Allah. And they'd stop at nothing to eliminate that enemy. You got it. They were fearless and deadly. Does the cult of the assassin still exist? Take a look around at the world today. You tell me. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's enough from you. Thanks for your help, Andre. Thank you very much. You're Andre. welcome. So, what I'll do is... Hmm... I think I'll just talk to him. Pardon tell me. Him that oui, monsieur? The thieves are on the way. They're going to steal his tripod. Can you give me any further? Certainly, monsieur. That tripod? Oh, no. He's useless. Anyway. Thanks for your help. Okay. So what I'll do is I will end this episode right here. And then continue on from here in the next episode. Anyway, thank you guys for watching so much. And I hope you're still enjoying the series. Anyway, see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.